I want to begin by thanking everyone for the absolutely incredible support that us junior doctors have received in the last few months. From, from our fellow NHS workers and students, to the general public and especially our friends in the wider trade union movement. Now, this dispute, which began about a junior doctor's contract, is actually about something much bigger which is this, this, this government's destruction of our public services. Under, under the guise of austerity, they have deliberately underfunded our services, creating crisis after crisis, and blamed the already overstretched staff. All of this has weakened the NHS, leaving behind a service to ease the way for private sell-off. None of this is for the, the benefit of our patients, but for private profit. And we all have a responsibility to oppose this. Yeah. The, fight, the fight to safeguard the NHS is all of ours because the NHS belongs to us all. Whether we pay for it in our taxes or we dedicate our working lives to it, the NHS is ours. And for any government, for any government to come along and break it up and sell it off in this way so that private companies can profit from illness, they must be held to account. Because it's not just profoundly undemocratic, it is an abuse of our publicly owned assets. Now, a lot of us doctors are being criticized because we're being told we've become too political. They've, they've told us that we should just stick to treating patients. But their politics is harming our patients. Their austerity is harming our patients. Whether it's cuts to social care and other crucial public services which have left thousands destitute, or the appalling treatment of disabled people, that is harming our patients. And as workers in the NHS, which is the last safety net when all these other services have failed. We've seen the effects of these cuts and that's why there are so many of us here. And I just, I just want to finish by saying this, which is that none of us, no doctor wants to be in the situation that we are in. No doctor wants to go on strike. And the fact that we have been forced to such extreme measures just to safeguard the quality and the safety of the care that we provide is an absolute disgrace. And all of us, all of us must be holding this government to account for that. Junior doctors are not going to win this fight alone. We need you all to join us and to stay with us. Your support has been amazing, so stick with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mona. Big up all the junior doctors! So you might not